In this video, we're going to talk about how to make a character's mouth move to make it look like they're talking. Now, you can, you can do the entire phonetic alphabet, and there are people that do, and it's very complicated. We're going to start off simple, okay? So what I did was I took my character and I, I made him green and his, all of his um, copies purple so I could differentiate. And I copied, I copied my bean, my little bean character that I created earlier. I copied him over here and I made two copies and I left the original here so I could remember what the original looked like and for comparison and then I have these two that I went in okay so this is the you can see this mouth matches this mouth and I went in to um, I worked with vertex and edge mode and I closed his mouth a little bit okay so you see the difference between this mouth and this mouth it's almost like it's opening and closing like you might in talking and then I went in here and turn off turbo so you can see. Whoops, wrong character. I've been working this 20 years and I still do that. So don't beat yourselves up if you do. Um, just forget to that some things you click off of and you're out of it. Other things you have to re-click on it. It's, just, it's different. Okay, so now this isn't great. <laughs> I could fix, clean this up quite a bit. But I literally just came in here and moved the vertices on his mouth to get this shape so that it looks more like he's doing a O with his mouth. Okay. You can spend a lot more time on getting that right. And also, he's a crooked character, so he's, and I don't mean crooked, <laughs> shady crooked, but I mean, he's, he's, you know, you see his, his edges are all, di are not aligned. So it makes it a little bit harder to work with. It's much easier if I had created his head from a, a sphere to get this right. But this will work for what we're trying to do. Okay, so you see the different mouths. Now, I'm just going to start with two. Let me get out of this character. Okay, so I'm just going to start with two, and they're way off over here because I don't want them to be seen. Um, you, you can... Uh, object properties... Make them not renderable. So that you can still work with them, but they won't render out. Okay? So just go to object properties and under render control uncheck that box um, okay so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back to my main character over here and I'm gonna stay zoomed in over here and again I kept a copy of him exactly as he is in case I want to create another mouth or I need to go back to this for some reason or you always just want another copy just in case um, Honestly, I'm trying to think of the times I've ever used it. I think I did once, because I wanted to go in and create another mouth, but I didn't want to start from one of these two. So I went back and I started with this one and pulled it out and then created another mouth. Okay, so um, just uh, clone, copy, and then clone, copy, and make all those not renderable. And I don't think that does me any good that view but okay so you can see his mouth in this view and you can see their mouths in this view and this is what we need okay so the concept of making him talk is pretty simple we apply whoops already did let me delete it okay let me delete my <laughs> it really likes to embarrass me this program just enjoys when I get in front of a classroom doing stuff it has either never done before or I just want you to delete. There we go. <laughs> or give me a hard time. Okay, so I got my character. Make sure your turbo smooth is on. Um, if it's off, this won't let you do what you need to do. Okay, so all your, any modifiers you have in the stack need to be on. So then what I'm going to do is I'm going to come in here and add the morpher modifier. 
morpher. And it looks like this. And so you're going to see, these are these should be rolled up. Um, you want to work with the channel list. And you're going to see you have a series of channels right here that all say empty. What I want to do is put these mouths that I have modeled into these channels. And the number over here is the percent. And you're going to see we're going to animate that. And you're going to see that it will then allow the mouth to morph from this to this to this. And you control the percent of how much. You can do one at a time. You can do more than one at a time. And I'll show you all that. It's really cool. Okay. So what we're going to do is um, I'm in my channel here. And um, let's see if it'll let me load multiple targets. It will. The thing is... Um, This is why you want to rename stuff. <laughs> you want to change his name to mouth closed and his name to mouth oh because this is what it looks like. Okay now I can and then this is my character. This looks like a bean. We'll call him bean. Okay. So now I'm going to come over here and I'm going to load multiple targets. And. Oops. Oof. Okay. And so I know which ones these are. So I can control those. I can select them and say load. And you can see now that they appear over here. And there's a little green slot to show that they're active. You can make them inactive by selecting them. And unchecking the channel is active. Um, let me just uncheck that. And you see it turns off. Okay, so green means it's active. Alright, so here's my character mouth closed. I'm going to come down here, auto key, and I'm going to set a keyframe. And then, whoops. I was working with this earlier. Delete that. Delete key all. Okay, so um, auto key is on and I'm going to set a keyframe at zero. And then at frame 10, I'm going to adjust this mouth to this mouth. And I'll do that with a percentage. Okay, so right now it's zero. It's 100% this mouth and zero that mouth. Now watch what happens when I increase this slider. So Watch the mouth on the bottom. Okay, it's 52%, 100%. Okay, so it morphs the mouth from the original into the target. And the percent allows you to do that so it doesn't just shut, but it moves just like you would really move your mouth. Okay, and then it doesn't have to be 100%. It can be 60% or 21% or something in between. Okay, so let's just do that. Let's just do let's just do 100%. And then I'm going to come to frame 20. And mouth O. I'm going to increase that. Watch what happens. 100%. And then frame 30. I'm going to reduce mouth closed. And frame 40. I'm going to reduce that one. And he's back to where he started. And then I can just continue with this in any combination I need to make it look like he's speaking. Now, right now, it's just a random rough movement. You can actually work with controls to make it match exactly. And there is someone um, who has created a series of tutorials for advanced Sorry, I'm like trying to talk and do this at the same time and Okay. And then I'm going to turn it off. All right. And now I'm going to play this. 
Ready? So it kind of looks like he's chewing, and then it's like he's talking, and... Okay, so you can use that morpher, and I only have two, two mouths I modeled, and I, I probably spent, I don't know, 10 minutes um, setting those up. I didn't think I'd have enough time to, to do it on camera, and you guys know how to model now, so I didn't cover that. But, I mean, I just, you know, just did what I showed you. So, um, if I had spent a little more time with that, made it look really good, this would be fabulous. For this class, this is all you really need to learn how to do. Once you learn how to do this, and you can practice more, and you can get better at it. And then you can add more mouths so that you have more mouth gestures. Um, you can make them smile, you can make them yawn, you can make them say other characters of the alphabet. You know, you can do all kinds of really cool things. And um, emulate talking. I will tell you for the most part, you don't have to precisely match your character's mouth moving to the words they're saying for people to make the connection. Our brains are very good at seeing two bits of information and filling in the gaps. I mean, it's what we do anyway, right? We render this out, we render out a series of intermediate frames, and then we play them back so fast that our brain thinks we're actually seeing motion rather than going from frame to frame to frame. We're not skipping in our minds, our brains are filling in so that it sees a fluid motion. I mean, we're already doing that. And it kind of works the same way with the mouth. So you don't really need a lot of nuance. Obviously, the more you have, the more believable your characters are. And if you watch a, a Pixar movie, those mouths move exactly to what they're saying. And there are ways to do that, and that has to do with stuff that we haven't even control, covered yet. Um, I can get my cursor over here. That works down here with all the curves, the curve editors. Uh, graph editor, right? So you can work with the track and the dope curve editor and the, and the dope sheet to be able to, you know, match your audio with your character's movement. And it'll allow you to play the audio out and adjust the mouth to fit better with the audio. Since we're not doing audio for this course, because we don't, we're not covering it in this class, not part of our, um, um, our curriculum, um, you don't have to, but I'm going to share that with you all so that when you feel comfortable with this and you want to move on to the next level and you want to get better at this and you want to start adding that in, you can. And I also recommend that you take the classes, the video editing classes that Mr. Thomas teaches um, that go way beyond the stuff that I teach you in, in, the, in these classes. Because then you can really get into it and you can really do a whole lot more. Okay, um, this pretty much covers how to make the mouth move. If there's anything um, you're having trouble with, just let me know. But otherwise, we're going to end this one here and call this, this one a wrap. Have fun.